Hello all, welcome back to FED Learning. Angular 19 introduces a new way to handle HTTP request using the resource API. So in this video, we will explore the new features resource and Rx resource with a simple example. And we will utilize these two resource API in our project to perform asynchronous operations. So here inside Visual Studio code, I have created a user table and utilized HTTP client to make HTTP request to the server. And this request retrieves data from this JSON placeholder users API. And here is the output, a user table populated with a list of users. If I hit this API on browser, you can see the 10 users available in this API. And we are displaying the same 10 users on our browser. Okay, so now instead of this HTTP call, I am going to use the resource API to retrieve the same data. So here I'll comment out this get data method and below this get data method. First, we will explore an example using Rx resource API. And followed by an example using resource API. And these resource and Rx resource API serves the same purpose. The only difference is that Rx resource works with observables, whereas resource works with promises. So now let's define a variable with name Rx resource data equals to here I'll call a Rx resource API, which is imported from angular slash core slash rxjs interop package and now i need to pass an object with a loader function loader and here i'll use an arrow function to call the http get request so here i have already injected http client through constructor so here i'll use http dot get of type any and inside bracket I'll pass this dot URL. So here, Rx resource automatically subscribes to and unsubscribes from the observable, and it considers only the first emitted value similar to the Rx.js first operator. So this behavior is particularly suitable for HTTP operations, which typically emits a single response and then complete. Okay, I'll save the changes and go back to browser. Let me access the data stored in the Rx resource data variable. And we can access the data from resource and Rx resource API using the dot value variable name dot value and then round bracket. Now save the changes and go back to browser. And now you can see that we are able to access the same data using the Rx resource API. Okay, so this is the basic understanding of Rx resource API. And now let's dive into resource API. Let me comment out this Rx resource API code and perform same async operation using resource API. So here I'll create new variable with name resource data equals to this time I'll use resource API instead of Rx resource and which will import from angular slash core. Okay. And this resource API is similar to Rx resource API. So here I'll pass an object with loader function. Here I'll use arrow function. And after that, instead of this HTTP get, I'll use fetch method. And here I'll pass this dot URL. After that, dot then and inside round bracket response arrow function response dot json as promise of type any okay so in this resource function this fetch method send the http request to this url and after that then response equals to response dot json means after receiving a response from this url this code passes the response data as json and last as promise of type any, this is a type assertion indicating that past JSON data is a promise of type any. Okay, hope you understand this line. I repeat, this loader function fetches data from the URL, passes it as a JSON, 
and returns the result as a promise. That's it. Now, inside HTML, I'll replace Rx resource data with resource data. Now, save the changes and refresh the browser. And here you can see once again, we have successfully accessed the same data, but this time using the resource API. So to conclude, use resource API for asynchronous operations that return promises and use Rx resource API for asynchronous operations that return observables. Okay, so that's all for now. Hope you understand the concept of resource and Rx resource API. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to FAD Learning for quick and easy learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.